Hey, it's Sam again with another video game review. I'm reviewing Polar Bowler. I know I've done it before, but this one's a little different. This is Polar Bowler for a Nintendo 3DS. Don't know why, but they make Polar Bowler for Nintendo too. It's the only Polar game they make for it. So, anyways, I'm gonna get started. It's real similar to the PC game, except the characters look a little different. All right, so here's our characters. You see, we got the regular polar guy here. And you don't have to continue to tap the screen. You can use the buttons to change controls. So the polar guy just looks the same. It's just his shirt's a bit more crimson colored. All right, this is our the walrus guy. He looks the same, but I noticed they got him a little, they got him tubby on here for some reason. He's real slim on the PC version. Our penguin. He basically, look, he looks the same, but I, I notice he's got a uh, hat on and goggles instead of sunglasses. He's just wearing a hat on this one. And here's our snowman. Besides the separate clothes, he still looks the same. Not exactly. I notice his face is different. He's wearing a different hat and scarf, mittens. Here's the Eskimo. Now this one's different because they have it as a man on the pc version they have it as a lady on here so you get a close look at her face see this is a girl and of course last but not least santa so here's santa claus and they still have him in a sleigh but i notice he's got on sunglasses so i'm just gonna play for i guess santa All right, and the alleys are still the same. You see, we got Chill Pen Alley, Candy Lane, Iceberg Alley, Papa Stompy Lane, Muckluck Lanes, Aurora Bowl, and North Bowl. So I'm just gonna do the Muckluck Lanes. Now there is one little difference. As you see, they have it snowing on here. On the PC version, they don't have it snowing. So let's just get started with the game. See, so you're supposed to swipe back. Got a strike on my first try. But it's easier. You don't really have to use a pen. You can just move the thing right here and move. It's easier to score like this. So I'm just going to play the game again just to show you how it works. It's easier to score high on the PC. I mean, I have this whole thing complete. I haven't played it on my DS in a long time, by the way. I have other games for it, but I'm just going to review the Polar games. Now, just to let everyone know ahead of time, this is the last Polar game review, because this is the last one. This is the only one left I hadn't done a review on. So, I'm just going to play this game and just show you how fun it is. I'm not as good as it, as it on a DS as I am on a PC. I mean, I have completed everything, but I just hadn't played on my DS in a long time. And you see coins and bonuses pop up on the side like they always have. Here's my power bonus. That one was for one. They usually don't get that. So it's basically just the same as it is on a PC. Well, we already know how Polar Bowler works. It's just the same as it is on PC, except it's a different computer device. So that's about it for the Polar Bowler Nintendo 3DS review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd like for everyone to stay tuned because I plan to start doing some daily blogs soon. So I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.